it's me Nikki and today I'm going to do my version of empanadas and I'm going to show you what I'm using so stay tuned okay I picked up um, some lean ground beef I want some onions in it I'm not gonna put all these onions in it but I want some of these onions in it excuse my nails we're gonna use the diced yellow onions we're gonna use this bell pepper for color and flavor here we have Mexican Kraft Mexican cheese. I, love, I like how it's shredded thinly because it's easily melted. Then I got some Goya minced garlic. I have some pastry dough from Pillsbury. Yes. I got some salt. Um, let's see. Some pepper. What'd you say? Also, you're gonna need some, I got some vegetable oil. So yeah, this is what we're using. Counter's a little color, but we're gonna make it happen. I'm gonna clean that counter off and we're gonna get to going. Stay, stay tuned. Okay, here, we're gonna use this pot to combine your minced garlic from Goya. I'm gonna try that out. Never tried their garlic. Then we're gonna saute our onions. You gotta get our bell peppers cut and saute. You wanna do the bell peppers? Uh, no, I was gonna, I was gonna pat the stuff out. Pat the stuff out. You said you wanted to help. Uh -oh. This is what happens. So stay tuned while I'm sauteing. I just added a few squirts of the um, vegetable oil. Just coated the bottom of it so that I can put in the, the vegetables. So, okay, that was probably wrong to do. Okay, I don't want my onions to caramelize. I just added some minced garlic in here and it's very loud. We're cutting up the green pepper. It makes it look more pretty. I think we need some more garlic. Mm, you don't, you don't seem like it. you like garlic. That's what that is, that Goya stuff? Yeah. And I love garlic. Oh, yeah. you do? I'll put yeah, some more garlic. in. Yeah, garlic, you don't never put that much garlic in there. Well, that's, we got enough garlic in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. Let me see. I want it to equal out what I got with the. You got a baggie? You can wrap that up in there. Think that's enough? Mm -hmm. A little bit more. For the hamburger, so now with the hamburger. So in the pan of olive oil. We're going to use half of the hamburger. With the pepper. We're gonna and make sauce. that like we originally made tacos, so we'll put the seasoning in after put the garlic powder, just to give it just a little zing to it. With the garlic powder. Then what you wanna do, you wanna get your garlic salt. Even though you got salt in it, but a little excitement will never hurt nobody. <laughs> Plus you want money. You let that sample right there. Let okay the guys, I'll be back with some more instructions. So far we're gonna we're gonna um continue to mix this mixture up over the um heat. Okay, we have the vegetables still being sauteed and he's cooking, browning the ground beef. So again, this is my first time, our first time making empanadas, and we're gonna see how it comes out. I got nothing to do with this myself. I like my vegetables a little soft, so I'm waiting on my vegetables to get soft. You get them soft to your desirement, and continue to brown your ground beef to your liking. All right, this is the ground. 
now these all cooked up well done now I will be that's two pounds of ground in there. No, I'm sorry, we didn't put the whole thing. So I think I'm gonna use one of these. Just one. We're gonna use all of it. Okay, this has the taco season in it. Why are you scared? Are you scared to talk about? Really? Really? Okay, he's on meat duty and he is stirring up the mixture of meat. It has some taco seasoning in it. We put some more seasoning in it. Done. How many put in one? Yeah, because that's about a pound. It's a pound a packet. Okay, we're going in for the taste. Let's see what he says. Good. Need something? No, not as like half a pack. Half? Oh. How is this? What about? Good on me. We're gonna put a half pack more, so we've got one and a half packs. Tease y'all though, but hey, mm. it's going down. Okay. And for dollars, it's going down. Can you move the um, spatula so I can pour this yes, in? Ma'am. Pour this in. Now I'm pouring this in the mixture of vegetables. and make the mixture get it all I can hardly see for the spoon. Alright. All right. Then I'm going to start this. You know this is start. And make sure when you're starting your vegetables and stuff, y'all, make sure you flip it. Stirring, no never stir. And I just said stir it in, but make sure you flip it. See this y'all? Flip it like that. That's how you cook. A real cook cooks like that. Don't stir. You're flipping in there. You see how all that meat getting up in there? How the vegetables get up in there? You see that? There you go. Right there. Now that's how you cook. Flip it all over. It's gonna, you know, it's gonna talk to each other, you know? You wanna love your food. You want your food to greet each other. You see that? Now what we're gonna do now, what she's gonna do is she's gonna, gonna, gonna make the um, the pastry. Mm -hmm. So I can next I'm gonna put the it's time for the pastries. <coughs> the pastry dough I got. Reality I was supposed to get the empanada um empanada um disc. Those were the little coat the breads or whatever. Okay, we done cleaned off this counter. Yeah, uh -huh. Counter's cleaned off. That's not a spot, y'all. That's the paint chip. But we, um... She got mad at me one day. Yeah, but go ahead. Don't do that. So we go get it started. And when I get started, I'm gonna come back. And yeah, we'll do that next time. We're debating on me doing the breading from scratch. But since this is my first time, I'm using the crust the pastry dough. See how it's gonna come out. So. Oh, it's real doughy. Just gotta make sure it doesn't stick. Mm. 
we can be getting some grease. But right. I'm gonna sit this over here in this little container, and I'm going to break it apart. Now, either I could do this and really do it, like shape it, like you know, I want to because I don't have a, I don't have a pen. Okay, I just pressed it out. You ain't gotta tell me how you did it to make it oh, thin. You know. Yeah, I do. Hold it in. Yeah, I'm just making it. Hold it in. <laughs> into like a square the best I can. It's gonna be thin. I put it in a paper plate because I don't it's gonna look like that. That is a whole second maybe. Thank you. Yeah. It should be uh more tri uh not triangle but okay. You need to fly the bottom so on stick. Yeah that's cool. And then we're gonna Put the meat in there, we don't do that. Um, I'm ready to taste it. We got to have some grease. You put that, I'm just gonna have all the ones you roll up. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. You got a spoon, like a small spoon. You always want to take a teaspoon. Big spoon, big spoon. And we're gonna do it with this spoon here. Gonna... Can you open the meat? I got oil in it. Not something like one there. Mm -mm. It would be egg, egg, um, egg wash or something. Uh, what do you wanna do? Okay. Cheese. I'm gonna put some meat. And some cheese. I'll be back once I got one uh, so you can see. Cheese makes everything better. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is roll it. This isn't the right kind of bread, so it's really, it's working out, but I wish I had the right type of bread to make it wet. We got a nice big heap of meat. Now I'm gonna use a fork. I'm gonna use a fork. Doing. He's putting the little prints in the um, make sure it's closed all the way. Mm-hmm. Lift the plate so they can see. Press it hard. We ain't even got no what you call cooking. Mm -hmm. And what we're gonna do after this, you do each one like that, sit in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. Yeah. That's how it looks. Supposed to do the back too, they say, but. Oh, yeah, we got them. <laughs> For the first timers, no talk about us. We first timers too. Again, this is our first time, so we're just showing y'all what we came up with. Mm -hmm. But what we want to, to do is we we'll want to put all this in the refrigerator for a minute and have to roll them all up. I don't want to drop them in there now. You gotta let this. You put that in the high grease, all oh, this going to Okay. Right. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So just like a chill for a little bit. We can still roll them up and all that, though. I'm going to get this one prepared. I need the plate. I ain't going to roll that one out that thing. Uh, these will be 
better the next time because I'm going to find everything I need. This getaway, y'all. Come on, don't judge nobody. Yeah, this is our first time, so. But I know it's going to be good. Vegetables in it, meat mixture. And then we're going to put some cheese on there. Really? <laughs> you gonna put some cheese on here? Put some stuff. <laughs> you gonna put just that much on there? Huh? Then we are going to close it over. Little discs to choose for the for the um empathetic. I know this seems messy but hopefully it comes out good and we can still eat them without a problem. And this one, another one down. Okay, this one's opening. So we're gonna put it in the um, Please excuse the background music. It really wasn't right, possible. Yeah.